So, um, we actually, um, we're going to um, wait a little bit be before the official proceedings, um, so that as many people as possible to get there when you do, we want to do a group photo and we want to cut their ribbon and the, the cake before some of our guests have to leave. Hi, I'm Jeremy Davis and I'm Belleville City Councilor candidate for Ward 1 and together we are going to put people first and over the course of the evening I will be telling you um, here at the Bistro, as well as you people at home, my ambitious plan of how to get it done and how we will do it. And we will change City Hall and the decision-making process and make it more transparent for the citizens of Belleville like never before. So um, I want to, first of all, welcome you to the Smoking 116 Bistro, everybody. Thank you for coming. Yes. And, um, okay, uh, before we do the, the official proceedings, we're um, expecting even more people. Um, uh, some people are from out of town, too. But um, for the people who can't get here right now, that's why we're going to be going on Facebook Live, but we thought for the early birds in the house, we will do a sound check with the famous Joe Salatolo and the Jerry T. Davis Belleville for City Council song that Joe so graciously composed for our campaign Vote to uh, kick it off and put people first. So take it away with a sneak peek for us. Thank you, Joe. Oh 
Got to get everybody. Oh, Josh, I didn't know you were here. Okay, that's. I should have worn my leather pants. I should have worn my leather pants. I saw that, and I just jumped in there. I hope you don't mind, Joe. How do I know that song? I don't know. I've been singing it in my sleep now. <laughs> Hello. Yes. We want you to so, vote for the man. I want to uh, oh, yeah. just. I'm walking in front of him. I want to just take a moment before I. Better move over I, here. I will. I won't do my official remarks just yet, but I just want to take a moment and thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. Um, at this official start of this journey in 2022. You know, I, w I want to just take you back a moment. I didn't just wake up one morning and say, you know what, I'm going to run for council. Number one, I I've been told by um, countless friends, former mayors, and um, such, and people that work in the civic service, that sometimes public service uh, and being on city council, in some people's opinion, can, uh, not mine, but could be a thankless job. But my reply to them was always, but I want to serve the people. I want to make a difference at the grassroots level. You know, and municipal government is perhaps um, the only level of government where you have the greatest chance or the greatest opportunity to do so. My, my late grandfather was a school board trustee. You know, and he instilled in me the value of public service and putting service above self. I only wish that he were here tonight, you know, to see me embark on this journey. And yes, other people have asked me, I have run before, but why do I keep at it and why do I feel that this time is the right time and it is the time to elect Jeremy T. Davis and it's going to happen is because I've spent a good majority of my life, you know, educating myself, working collectively. I'm not just, you know, I'm not just a a kid sitting in a chair um, that doesn't um, think of these things or, or that um, doesn't have the experience. I, I have had the opportunity um, and I'm grateful for to um, have many different portfolios including heritage, ranging from heritage to uh, the Green Task Force, to the Accessibility Committee, um, working um, and doing strategic planning for other um, city administrations and other past mayors. But you know, I'm young enough and I have a vision and I have a passion and a commitment to know what needs to be done. The thing is, the only way to to achieve this and to do this is to make sure that we can get the vote out because without getting the vote out, regardless of who you um, are um, looking at, uh, electing, um, we can't get the, there. We have to get the vote and then it will provide the change that we need. And I'm asking you, humbly to give me that honor and give me that support. I will go uh, through my uh, some of my platform, um, you know, uh, later on in the evening. Um, I can um, meet, uh, uh, meet each and every one of you. You know, 
you know, it's not just the people in this room, but everyone in this room at the beautiful Smoker 116 Bistro that is an amazing family down here. And we really are. And that's what community is, is family. You know, and we look out for one another. Um, you know, we may start out, um, and um, you may not always have the biggest crowds at the rally, but each one of us know people. We have a network of people. So I'm asking each one of you in this room to please invest uh, some time. Tell your friends, your neighbors, even if you are, you are from a different area. Um, many people know so many people in Belleville. So tell them about what we want to do. I'll just, I'll just briefly, because um, I know we want to get on to some other things, and I want to have some time to, to mingle, and then, then we'll go from there. I'll briefly touch on some of the things that I want to help work on together collectively uh, with the next Belleville City Council come November or after the election when we're sworn in, if I have the honor and privilege of that opportunity, which I really hope I can earn your support to do. I want to make sure that the great people of the city of Belleville have everything uh, that they require in terms of, we all know that there's a housing crisis, okay? We all can identify that. Uh, and uh, this latest um, inflation that's happening all over the country doesn't help. But uh, we, what we have to do is not only identify the crisis, we have to work together with solutions. And so uh, you can have, um, like earlier in this term, they had a housing summit. Well, it's good to have the dialogue and that, but you've got to have more investment that go, goes along with it. You know, I know family, I know many families that have had, had to move out of this area simply because they were denied the right and the access to the proper affordable housing that they, that they deserve. And so, and we have many different opinions on, on what affordable housing is. But let me tell you, affordable housing to me is something that, um, well, besides a basic human right, you know, is something that everyone, sh every working family should afford. You know, should be able to, to um, afford to pay the rent, pay their bill, and then afford uh, food and groceries and, and we're not talking we're not talking socialism here we're just talking uh, Canadian values and uh, Belleville values so like I heard some of these other properties like um, over 1700 a month for that's just off the top of my head just for a small one bedroom well someone on a fixed income um, that, because that's plus utilities and all that, that's not right. We had to work together. We can work together. Um, there's, uh, there's many different groups. It takes all levels of government when we started. Um, one other thing, um, I'll just um, do one other thing and we'll do more later, is, okay, what would set me apart from the other candidates in this current municipal election race. And I want to tell you, some people have heard this, I spoke about it on the radio in the interview with Joe Salatola. 
I pledge to you, I, Jeremy T. Davis, pledge to you that I will govern different. Everyone will have a place um, to connect. There'll be no no more disconnect with your, your counselor. And how I, am I going to do this, you might add? I pledge to you that on day one from being elected, I will make sure that that I have it set up and the wheels in motion, if you will, no pun intended, uh, that we will have a constituency office. I'm hoping to, to uh, locate it downtown or an office for our fellow citizens, visitors, business leaders, everyone that's invested in this community, this fine community, and they can come and they can consult and um, make appointments and, and get information from our friendly staff um, that um, I've already um, been in talks with. Um, and we can um, then make appointments. I can hear your concerns, take them directly back to the council table. That's what's missing, folks, right now um, in our local municipal municipal government. And let me tell you, the Municipal Act uh, does provide for that. That's that's the councillor's choice. Uh, like, of course, um, the only thing that um, we would have to make sure is if they're not in camera or property issues. But everything else, that will promote and open transparency. And I'm looking forward to getting, getting to work to you, for you, uh, and we're going to get that done. So that's one major difference, and I'm the only candidate to say that, and that's my word, and that will happen. And that will invest in our downtown, that will also, that will also clean up our downtown and um, address some fundamental needs as well. So um, back to um, some more music. I will be meeting each and every one of you. I ask everyone, get down here to the Smoker 160 Bistro. We have karaoke. We have other special guest singers. We have some prizes, some great food, um, you know, available here from <laughs> Sal, Sharon, and Gerard, and all the staff here at the Smoker 116 Bistro, which we have a um, uh, cake for the kickoff. We're going to do the ceremonial ribbon. It's still not too late. Get down here.